Hi everybody, it's Julie and I'm here with a walkthrough of my Celebrate America uh, junk journal. Um, it is about four and a half inches by eight and a half inches. It has a soft cover that I've sewn and with cardstock on the outside, wrapping paper on the inside. Um, it's a single signature, it's quite chunky, and it is shown, sewn with a five stitch pamphlet stitch here to, to hold in all of the, my small pages. Um, I've just used a trim closure here, and at the bottom of the trim, I added some of the wired gold eyelet or eyelet eyelash trim and some of the red, white, and blue baker's twine to kind of make it look like fireworks down there. And added this little thing here too with the stars, um, a flower embellishment. We have one of the um, postcards from the digital kit, Celebrate America digital kit that's available in my Etsy shop, Dear Julie Julie. So we'll go ahead and let's just get right to it. I have a pile of items here that I had left over that we can put inside here as we go through. This um, ribbon or trim closure is just threaded through here. There's also a piece of material on the front here as well. So I've zigzagged around the outside edge. You open it up and here is the beginning and I have a pocket with a white card tag here that um, with some fireworks up at the top that's the gold embellished um, eyelash trim the wired eyelash trim and a couple of sequins there's a tutorial on how to do that I also and a lot of the items in this are from um, the Celebrate America kit as well as the digitals are all from my Celebrate America digital kit. So this was the card that I chose. Um, I love this card. <laughs> so um, it's Liberty Lane is the on the birdhouse with the flag and the hydrangeas and the red roses, the little birds. I just thought it was so cute. Um, so the heart here is a tuck spot little tuck spot and um, I don't know that I have any little things I think I'm mostly mostly big things so um, but I wanted to show you that part of the papers that are through this book were from a pack of papers that I got in a magazine that I had purchased at Barnes and Nobles so there's some the pages that are similar to these there was a cut apart page just like this. There was two of them in the package. And so you'll see I have used several of, there's the heart, you'll see this in there. Um, this, um, several of these I have used throughout this book as well as the papers. Okay, and I'll tell you where those are. Okay, so here's one of the postcards from that cutout, paper, that cutout pad. We have the Star Spangled Banner with the words. This is a postcard out of the digital kit. We have a Think Alike card. I love these because they're red. <laughs> and a blue tag that I, I made with my Hobby Lobby tag punch. So there we go. And I added some of the gold eyelash. And I like because it, it comes up off the top. We have a doily here. And I've just done a small collage on it using washi tape, a sticker, and then one of the cutout images from the cut apart page. Here is one of the pages from the Barnes and Noble paper. Up here is a tab, and I made that using a cupcake um, liner that I had purchased, gosh, last year, year before. Might have even been gifted to me. I don't know, but um, yeah, so I, I cut out um, one of the, like that much of it, folded it over and made a little tab and just attached it with the, um, my mini attacher from Jenna. Thank you. 
So here's one of the postcard images from my digital um, Celebrate America. Here's some washi tape. That is actually holding this card that is one of the digital postcards. And you can flip it up and then it's also got a things to do underneath it. So it's got a little waterfall. Here we have one of the flat paper clips. There's a video explaining how to make this. And here it is holding just some 4th of July paper that was gifted to me. It has, it's holding down this card, which gives you a place to put a picture and some journaling. And then this card is just set over the top and then held on. All of this is held on with that flat ticket paper clip. And you can look up flat ticket paper clip tutorial. Flat ticket paper clip tutorial. I added some lace to the edge here. This again is another one of the papers from the magazine. And then here I added the flag image to the center of the really cool noisy paper. And um, on this, I like to journal. Okay, this page is empty here. But I like to journal like out in a starburst sometimes. And so usually in my journals, I'll have a page where I've put an image or some words in the center of the page. And then you can reflect on whatever that is if you want. That's just what I do. Okay, we have some washi tape here on the other side. We have some of the special um, folded paper here. And so it had the bandana, bandana image going all the way around it and I folded it up. And then I added this blue pocket where the Liberty Bell card is. This is an image from the little mini calendar and I've just added it here. We have from my stash this recipe and um, this recipe card. I think it's kind of fun because it's long and um, it is coffee dyed and then we have the little summer girl and she can hold a picture on the other side or some journaling. So there is plenty of room still for journaling but I did I did decorate this. I loved the images that I had and and so I put them in in little collages like this again from the calendar, some wrapping paper and some washi tape, another one of those little cookie or cupcake tab um, tabs. This is from the calendar and I cut it out and it's a flip up and you can write on the calendar page as well as on here. We have the red doily and you can, of course can journal on there, put a picture, we have the image from the calendar, some washi tape, and this is an achievement or certificate paper. And I thought it was cool, it's blue. And um, so this side we have just some washi tape design, more of the cupcake, it is now a little pocket, but you can still journal all along in here. And then we have the Star Spangled Banner here as well. So that looks like it could use something. So we'll put that in there. And that. Okay. Do we have anybody else that needed anything yet? Okay. I think we're good. Okay. So here we have um, one of my paper ribbons and Lindsay Zanor does the paper ribbons. I did this one. This one is glued. It's not sewn. And there is a tutorial for this. And then one of the images from the, um, it's that image. It's the thumbnail image from the calendar. So I'm not going to put that there. I was going to. Let's see. Put the flashcard. It says America the Beautiful. Kind of like the skinny stuff better. Let's put this paint chip. You're like, what are you doing, Julie? I think we'll just leave that one because I can't decide. So, oh, you know what? Here's 4th of July. Happy 4th. There we go. And, of course, if you're not doing, um, you know, putting 4th in here, you can just cut that off. Very simple. Okay, so this um, paper clip has some of the fireworks, I'm calling them. I did the wired 
eyelash trim and I attach these sequins to it. There is a tutorial for that in the sequin um, uh, last minute embellishments or something like that with sequins. So um, then I have this little booklet here or just it's actually just a card with the little summer girl and part of a time card. Here we have where I've sewn the sequins on. This is again part of the sequin tutorial. And here we have, it's an airmail envelope matched perfectly. And so here we can go ahead and just put this, this little card in there. Okay, maybe, maybe this one too. Of course, there's a lot of stuff in this set of pockets right here. Okay, there we go. So there's a pocket. There's two pockets here, actually. There's one. Oh, no, that's right. I glued the flag onto here. So there's just the pocket of the envelope there. Then we have a red envelope, and I've cut the side out, notched it here, added a flag. And let's see if anybody will fit in there. It would be kind of cool if we could put the one of the calendar pages in there. Of course not. And these probably would have fit before I put the tabs on them. <laughs> it fell in. So these are a little call note thing. We just put that inside there. And maybe that. Okay, then we have a do it later and it has a check off list. I think check off lists are kind of fun to have in a journal. Um, this is the negative for these banners, stickers, and I put it in here, and I always like to, I, I do it a lot with the heart one, the heart stickers, and I have taken and put pictures inside these. I have put um, words written inside of them, something special. I just think it's kind of cool. So here we have the stripe and star washi tapes and the other side of that paper. We have another one of the flat clips. This one's holding the Star Spangled Banner. We have some washi tape, a canceled flag stamp that ca came this week. Got four of them in one day. <laughs> and this little lace here, trim that I added. It matches the trim on the front. So the paper clip also holds down the Keep Cool postcard, which you can write on the back. And then we have a doily and some a red scallop here. Here I've taken and we have the fancy paper folding. So I've taken the, excuse me, the graph paper and I folded it up and made a pocket on this side and then added a hello, my name is sticker. We have the think alike tag, a couple more of the cards, some coffee dyed paper, all places that you can uh, that decorate it and that you can write on. And let's see, I think we put that one in. It says keep cool, and then we've got this. You know what? Let's go ahead and put this inside there and the fireworks inside there. So it's kind of like it's holding those. Okay. So keep cool, and then we've got this, got the, um, the umbrella and the chair. <laughs> That's kind of cool. Okay, so we have the heart. This was cut out from the, the little calendar and some of the washi tape here. I've added some lace, another one of the cupcake tabs. Okay, also, I attached some um, of the sequins to the lace here, and that's part of this the sequin video. Here we have a little collage. Um, I used one of the embellishments, the scallop circles, hearts embellishments with the gold thread, and then um, that's wrapping paper and washi tape. We have this little card, and it says, just living is not enough. One must have sunshine, freedom, and a little flower. So I thought that was cool because it had the red stripes and then it talked about freedom. So I added that. 
We have a little paper ribbon here. Um, this is the card that is the human flag. And if you look at it closely, you can see the stars and you can see the stripes. And this was from a Star Spangled Celebration in um, anniversary celebration. So I put the Star Spangled Banner um, card here and then just a July 4th paper that was in um, a swap that I had. So we have another one of the airmail envelopes. I've attached it inside this large pocket that I've made. This is the center signature. So I, I attached the coffee dyed paper to this calendar page. This is from the larger calendar. And then I put the pocket inside. So now I have this decorative pocket that holds some notes. You can um, journal here and you also still have the card. So that closes all up like that. Again, here's the pocket. I've notched it here so you know it's a pocket. And I just added a couple of index cards. And one of them has the red, white, and blue ribbon as a tab. And it sticks out and then you're also able to see and you're able to see a little bit of the edge of this red, white, and blue envelope as well. I love this page. Liberty, when it begins to take root, is a plant of rapid growth. And um, the really big picture of, I'm not the big picture, but there's another picture of this picture. And this is the basket on a bicycle. So now you can see the bicycle here. I thought that was really cool. So again, we have a pocket on this side, the flag in here. The mil um, million bells, I think those are, those flowers. Um, so then in the center of the signature here, I added stars onto the, the strings. And this piece does hang all the way off. Here I added this little label. And then I came back and I put some brad or eyelets in it. And then I added the wash, the gold eyelash trim fireworks is what I'm calling them and this one had two when I was went to um, wrap it it had two stars so I kind of folded one of the stars so you, it has fireworks and then you could write something there or have um, something come out <laughs> yeah you could put some words there so now we're on the second half of the signature and here is one of the collage pockets. This is the one I made for the video. And um, so I think we can go ahead. I think, I think we can put this in there. Not quite. So we're going to go ahead and fold this a little bit. You know, I'm going to save that. We'll put this in. And a baseball. Okay. So again, plenty of room. Again, this was a, a video of how to make this um, this pocket pocket collage pocket tuck. This is from the Fruit Loops top of the box or the bottom of the box, and had this flag, and I was like, oh, I should put that in the book. So I did. Um, I sewed this paper ribbon in and then added a collage here with some washi tape, a sticker, and one of the hearts that are cut out of the little calendar. Here is the other side of the card and I've made a tuck out of the wrapping paper, one of the stickers, a little star sticker here, and then I had this postcard in my stash. I also added those to the kits. This is a, the digital of the little boy, and then just a little tiny scrap that matches, so I put it in. Okay, then we have another cupcake holder, and this one is holding uh, rocket paper that was from a swap. It was gifted to me in a swap, so it was out, so it got used. Another think alike card. I like that it had sandals on it. So you can look at these and guess what why I'm I put them in there maybe. 
This one went in because it said sandals. Um, and then we have this little ticket. So you can put that in either way. I kind of like it where it shows the, the little thing here. I added this um, paper scrap to the edge here. Here's the other side of the graph paper pockets. Here is one of the pocket covers that I made using the calendar. We have another flash card and two of the postcards left big so that you can um, you have more room to write. You can cut it up and use it in something else. And a Washington postcard, also from the digital kit. Let's see. There. We'll put, put that in there. Okay. So this page is some of the paper from the paper that I got with the magazine. It has a fabric tab and some lace and a sticker on the edge. Over here we have a um, belly band. And you know what? On the belly band we could use this whole paper. We'll just pull it through. So we have the keep cool little card with the thumbnail that has the beach umbrella and the um, chair and then a little collage again with the keep cool and then there's place to write here we have some more washi tape and washi tape at the top turn it over we have a little washing tape washi tape bunting some washi tape here washi tape is a great way to tie everything together Okay, here's the other side of the check it off list and now this one says do it now and you have a little blue star. Here's another of the reverse side of those stickers and we have this red pocket inside. We have a receipt that you can write on and a things to do little pad here so you get a couple of them and they stick out so you can see them. And they're cool because they're blue. So they match. I liked things that match. And I added the little red star. Here's the other side of the airmail envelope. And I added uh, um, airmail by airmail here. And then I added the hot air balloons because, you know, airmail, air, hot air balloons. And then this was some more of the paper from the magazine. And there's the other side. So here's another one of the paper ribbons. I sewed the paper ribbon and then I glued it onto the paper for this one. And I made this embellishment. This was a video um, that I did for an embellishment. And so it's scallop edge, ticket, fluffy ribbon, and I call these fluffy, <laughs> fluffy papers here. Fluffy edge. And um, one of the thumbnails from the calendar. Turn it over. I have this in my stash, the United States. I just added some washi tape and one of the stickers and one of the thumbnails from the calendar. Here is the Washington Monument at Mount Vernon and it's a, uh, from the digital kit. One of the pages of the digital kit is all Washington um, F uh, postcards. So then here we have some note paper that you can write on with the stars and we have a children's uh, name card nameplate and you can write on that as well. So those all fit right there in this pocket. Okay. Next we have this fold out and we have the little guy he's a flat ticket paper clip but what I did is I made it with the ticket and then I added a, a print of the postcard to the front okay here is the certificate paper and I put it in here at landscape and I folded this edge so that it would fit and um, give you more room to be able to write. So here is the original um, collage page. Okay, so we can put something in here. Oh, don't need to put, I'm getting close to 
see if I have anything over here. Just the graph. We'll just put that in there. There we go. Okay, so here is the other collage pocket. It has some striped paper and some coffee dyed paper in it and room for you to add more. It also has this cute little tag that I made that is just washi tape, a sticker, and some bling. And I just have it here inside the original part of the first collage. So the first collage had the, um, the baseball and the flag and the heart. And then I decided I wanted it to, to hold more. And um, so I came back and I made this collage. And then there's a video of me making the other collage. Wherever it went to. Oh, there it is. So there's a video of me making this collage. This one was an accident. I didn't like that, so I start. I couldn't just add a collage to a paper and put it in there. So I slowly put it together, and I liked it. And so I did the video on how I did that for this. So if you end up in the same situation, and um, you you keep looking at, and don't like what you have, that might be some. That might be an option. Okay, so here I have the bingo card. I've added the hearts cross, and I made a flag out of washi tape, and I left it saying free. I thought that was really kind of cool. We're going to go ahead and put the cabin, or no, this is the bridge. Put the bridge in the pocket. Just have the flag sticking out. Okay. So we added a piece of the scrap um, paper and the last piece of the the uh, trim after I did everything went here you open it up and we got the little guy here and he's got one of the heart embellishments added to him and he became a tuck spot and he's holding a think alike card and I don't remember why I kept this one maybe journey Spider-Man. That's why. Spider-Man. He's red, white, and blue. And then we have this tag with the gold eyelash trim and the rest of the time card. So all these can go in here. There we go. Here is our other side of the handkerchief paper. And we have some really cool, I love this lace. I got that from Amor Fabrics um, in a 30, uh, what was it? It was a bag of lace. I bought a giant bag of lace from her. It was in there. So this is the tag. I made this tag and did the fireworks on the top, added this sticker I had in my stash, and then some washi tape up here. Um, here's another one of the papers that were given to me in the swap. And here is a Summer Girl card. Added a rocket from the sticker sheet, some washi tape here, and then here I have the other side of the blue paper, and just like the, um, the certificate paper, I made a, excuse me, I made a fold out. I added some of the stickers here from the sticker paper, and then you can pull this out and there's a tag in here so you can write or put a picture on that tag and then I also cut this out so that you could tell it was a pocket okay so here's the other side of our blue page and I used the ticket from the paper is this ticket I'll show you use this ticket and this embellishment, what I did is I glued from here up and then I glued on the embellish I glued the embellishment onto here and then I glued it here and here. So I made a pocket out of it. And we'll just put that in there. That was from my stash. Here we've got one more of the call cards. We'll stick that in here. 
And this, I took one of the stickers and cut it in half and made a tab on the top just to give it a little more decoration. Here's one of the George Washington postcards. Here is the little guy card. And I left this on so that it would go down, but you would still see him. And it gives you more room to write. Here's the Washington um, monument and the card for Washington there. Here is one of the flat paper clips. You can put something in here. On this side, it's holding one of the fireworks cards and an index card that has a tab. Up at the top, we have washi tape and one of the scallops that was cut out of the calendar book. The calendar. And I added the flags to this um, doily. So again, you can write five important things or um, five dates or something you can write in there. And then this is the last thing is this card. And we have Statue of Liberty and it's part of the Cracker Jack series. But I put it in here because it had the Statue of Liberty. The other two cards that I have are coming soon because they're, they're summer. There's a baseball one and one where they're in New York. And so I will be adding those and they're kind of fun. So this is the back of the birdhouse card that was in the front. So the adorable birdhouse card. And I just used washi tape to cover over, left the thumbnail that was on the back of the card, washi tape and a sticker. So that is my Celebrate America junk journal. This one is going to be for sale in my Etsy shop. And my Etsy shop is Dear Julie Julie. It will be there when you see this, if it's still there. It should still be there. Well, hopefully it won't be. <laughs> and um, again, it has about, um, it's between 70 and 80 pages. And that's big and small. Because you saw some of the pages were like half pages and stuff. It's counting everybody. Um, it is, again, it is four and a half by eight and a half. And um, I think it turned out really fun. I I love this, this right here. This tab was one of my favorite things. Um once I did it. I love the center signature. I think that that just turned out really pretty. It's kind of a break with all the red, white, and blue, and then to have the pink, but it's still very um, patriotic. I loved it. So I thought it was cool that we started out with flowers, and then we had flowers again in the center of the signature. So, and then again here with the, the flag flip. So I just thought that that was really special. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. If you have any comments, questions, suggestions, put them down below. Um, the videos, all the videos that I have that are making any of the um, items in here will be videos that I have posted within the last week. So the easiest way is to just go back, you know, go backwards on my channel to find them. Um, yeah. So thank you again for being here. And if I didn't say it before, find something to celebrate every day. Don't forget to subscribe. Have an amazing day. Talk to you soon. Bye. And look for this in my Etsy shop. Dear Julie Julie. Bye-bye.